Welcome to the video tutorial of the card game Politics, in which you take the role of a political party strategist trying to ensure that your party wins the upcoming election. Politics is a game for two to four players. In the game box, you will find three card decks. The first is a deck of 20 faction cards, each of which represents an interest group or lobby group, such as Aada Haddimatartsnari, Gift of Life, and the Times of Malta. The second is a 45 card deck of politicians with names such as George Policino and Agatha Barbara. Finally, the third deck consists of 45 event cards, with each card representing an event which may affect politicians, factions, and players. The game is played over a number of rounds. In each round, a faction is willing to meet up with politicians to decide who to support in the upcoming election. Players take it in turn to play politicians to influence the interest group and can also play event cards which bend the rules of the game, helping your politician or screwing up those of others. At the end of the round, the player whose politician is most influential gets the votes from that interest group. The first player to obtain a majority of votes wins and gets to carcade around the room. Let's see how the game is played. To start the game, we shuffle the three decks separately and put them face down on the table. After deciding who will start, each player draws seven cards in any combination from the event and politician decks. For instance, you may choose to draw three events and four politicians or a less balanced hand of six events and one politician, or even a crazy hand of just seven politicians. The game is split into a number of rounds. At the beginning of the round, the top card of the faction deck is turned face up. The players take it in turn in an anti-clockwise direction to play an event or a politician card, or pass. There are also special event cards called reaction events, which can be played during another player's turn, but when and how they are played is fully explained on the cards themselves. In a single round, a player may only play one politician, so once you have played a politician and it is your turn again, you may only play an event or pass. Play continues until all players pass in sequence, at which stage the round ends. At the end of a round, the player whose politician has the highest overall influence on the faction in play wins the round and adds the votes represented on the faction by the number of little men at the bottom right-hand corner of the card to the score. We will see how the overall influence is calculated in a moment. In case of a tie, no one wins the faction votes. The winning player draws one event or politician card, while the others draw two cards in any combination. If a player ends up with more than seven cards in their hand, he or she must discard down to seven. The player to the right of the one who started the current round gets to start the next round. Rounds are played until a player wins a total of nine or more votes, thus guaranteeing an electoral win. The game also ends when no more faction cards are left on the faction deck, in which case the player with the highest number of votes wins. Let's now see how influence is calculated to decide who wins the round. The influence of a politician on a faction depends on the color of the faction. For red factions, take the politician's red influence score, as indicated by the number at the top left-hand corner of the card. For blue factions, take the blue score, while in the case of gray factions, the sum of the two values is used. For example, George Policino would have an influence of 4 plus 2, that is 6, on a grey faction. George Policino's card also says that his influence increases by one red and one blue point if he is the first politician to be played in a round, which would give him 5 plus 3, that is 8 influence points. The expertise symbols found on the faction cards and on the left side of the politician cards also contribute to the influence score. The politician gets an additional point of influence for each expertise in common with the faction, 
So, for example, if George Pulicino is the first politician to be played on the Times of Malta, his overall influence is calculated as follows. Since the Times of Malta is a blue faction, we take his blue score, 4, pumped up to 5, since he was the first politician played. In addition, the Times and the politician share an interest in education giving George Pulicino an extra point of influence, giving him a total of six influence points. If the other politicians have lower influence, the player who played George Pulicino wins the round and adds four votes to the score. Alternatively, consider if George Pulicino were to be the second politician played in a round on Gift of Life. Since the faction is grey, his overall influence is the sum of the red and blue scores, making it 6, with no additional points since he shares no expertise with the faction. Let us look at a round of a game between John and Mary. At the beginning of the round, the top card of the faction deck is turned face up. It turns out to be Imperium Europa, a grey faction with three votes. Mary started the previous round, making it John's turn to go first. He decides to pass, waiting for Mary to make the first move. Mary plays the politician Alfred Sant, who has an influence score of 5 red and 1 blue, and shares an interest in economy with Imperium Europa, giving him a total influence of 7. John's reply is to play George Pulicino, who has an influence of 2 red and 4 blue, and shares no expertise with the faction thus leaving him with six influence points. Mary, seeing she will win the faction if John does nothing else, passes her turn. John plays La Buristiotol on George Pulicino, which gives him one extra red influence, pushing his overall influence to seven. He seems to be trying to tie the round, ensuring Mary does not win the faction. But Mary plays it at all budget on Alfred Sant, granting him a new expertise. Mary chooses to give Alfred Sand expertise in patriotism, giving him an additional one point of influence and pushing his influence up to eight points. However, in response to this event, and still during Mary's turn, John plays Likin Kin, a reaction event card, which cancels the effect of an event just played. Zedat al budget is cancelled, leaving Alfred Sand's overall influence at seven. John, having nothing else to play, passes, and so does Mary, resulting in a tied round. Since the round is a tie, both players draw two cards. Before leaving you to play politics, I would suggest that for your first few games, you put aside David Arjus, adding him back into the deck once you start becoming familiar with the rules. If you would like to play a quick game, it is recommended that you start the game with just 10 random cards in the faction deck. More detailed instructions can be found in the game packaging, so you can refer to them if any issues not addressed in this video crop up. So go ahead and play politics. May the people get the government they deserve. Yours.